Hello everyone, my name is Laura. You're watching the Bean Bird 2 channel where we talk about the goodness of God and testimonies. And today I'm just doing a little chat. Um, we got back from Ina's surgery around noon today and I'm just feeling kind of mentally exhausted, but I wanted to share all that happened. Uh, I know some of you had mentioned that you were praying and so I thank you for that very much. Um, I woke up this morning after having, you know, a bad dream and that wasn't a good start to the day. And then knowing that we are going to this surgery, I just felt like I was going to throw up all morning. And then I was thankful that my husband was able to drive to the procedure because I was so like jittery and shaky and like, I don't feel like I could have been the one to do the driving. And so on our way there, I was just thanking God that he gave me David, who's such a steady hand through any difficult situation, always calm and confident and strong. And shout out to the men out there who are like that, because um, I know he was probably feeling the things I was feeling, but dads just handle it so differently than moms. And so while we were driving, I was reflecting on that and the beauty um, that God has made in creating moms and dads and that we're different and we function differently and um, God bless that, you know, that difference. So um, we got to the surgery center and they took her back and initially um, she was, you know, in great, she had a great attitude. She, when I woke her up this morning, she bounced out of bed and she's like, it's time for my surgery. And we got to the, um, the waiting area and we got her a little plush toy to have um, special with her that she could take back. And um, she was all smiling and happy. And I was like, wow, she's got such a great attitude going into this. Um, partially, I think she just didn't know what was coming. And then Partially, she's just always happy. She's just always got such a joyful demeanor and it, it doesn't matter. And so I was remarking like, wow, here she is going into surgery and she's just happy and hugging and kissing everybody. And I'm like, what a joyful spirit, you know? Um, so they took us back to prepare her for the surgery and she did well through all that. And the staff was just so loving. And I really feel like, I don't know if any of those people were Christians, but I feel like in those environments, people are in a time where they're really sensitive and stressed and having that calm hand, calm headed person that says just the right thing to your child or just the right thing to you when you're going through something that's stressful, it's just like 10 times more powerful, I feel like. So um, if you are in healthcare, um, what an amazing opportunity that is to touch so many people's lives. Uh, people who go into these situations and they're afraid and um, stressed out. There's a lot of unknowns and just having that person there to just say, everything's going to be fine. Um, you know, this is just daily activity for us. We do this a lot. Like you're going to be just fine. It's just so comforting. So, um, and I also wanted to share that even though I'm a believer, I'm not immune to having nervousness and anxious thoughts. I try to pray those away. I try to, you know, turn things over to God as we're called to do, but it's hard because sometimes like praying something or thinking something, um, you know, it's, it's hard when you're dealing with feelings and emotions. And a lot of times, um, you know, we can control our actions. But a lot of times the way we feel about a situation, we can feel really out of control. And um, those moments are just really hard and vulnerable. So I just wanted to say that that's something I was going through today. And I remember thinking on my way there, like, come on, you know, get yourself together. You shouldn't be like this. You know, you should be calm. You should have the peace that surpasses understanding. And sometimes it just doesn't all come together the way that we want it to. And um, that was kind of the case for me today. And I thought... What am I going to talk about in my video? I'm a mess, you know, and I thought, well, maybe it helps other people to know that we don't have it all together. And um, sometimes I think, you know, everybody goes through things where they feel out of control or nervous or anxious. And um, it's a blessing to have people who are around you and care and inquire and pray and what a blessing that is. And so um, 
So when she came out of surgery, well, initially they told us it would be 30 minutes, but she ended up being back there for more than an hour. And so the more time went by, the more I was like starting to feel more sick in my stomach and more butterfly feelings. And um, But finally they came out and the surgeon talked to us and he said it all went well. Some of the cyst was attached to her muscle. So the, um, the incision goes um, to the side and then like all the way around to the back of her ear. And so they told us that there'd be swelling and ice packs and ibuprofen, all, all the typical stuff um, for pain and inflammation management at home. And um, But it went well and she's going to recover. Um, <clears throat> when, when she woke up, she was, you know, uh, well, the way anesthesia is, it was just, she was kind of out of sorts. They said she was doing alligator rolls and um, they said some kids like, react that way and it's normal and she was very emotional going home but I do have a praise report because uh, she literally cried the whole way home saying that her ear was hurting and you know our hearts were breaking for her but uh, we got her home we gave her her first dose of ibuprofen we got her something to eat and the pastor came over and he gave her um, a smoothie and a sandwich and uh, some balloons and toys and then also a meal for the family so we don't have to cook today, which is just shout out to the pastor. Uh, what a blessing that is to be cared for by a church family and what a testimony that is. And then, um, you know, it was just like 30 minutes later, she was coloring in her coloring book and she was laughing and she was playing with her turtle that we got her. And um, <clears throat> I took a picture of her smiling and we're like, oh my gosh, and but this is the amazing thing. We have a lot of people praying for us, and she's like coloring in our book, and I'm like, how are you doing? And she said, mom, I can't even feel my ear anymore. And that to me is so amazing because when we left, they were saying, you know, she's going to be numb um, in her ear probably for four hours, and um, the anesthesia will wear off, and then, you know, she'll start to feel it. So make sure you're giving her the ibuprofen as soon as you get home. Uh, even though they said it would take four hours, which would be like 4 p.m., and we got home at noon, um, I mean, she was just crying the whole way home, saying that she was in agony and in pain, and it hurt so much, and she's like, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, and I'm like, okay, okay, I know, we're going to get home, and we're going to give you some some ice pack, and but then she's now saying she feels no pain at all in her ear, and um, I, I attribute that to prayer. I want to thank God for that. I want to thank you guys for that, for praying. And um, I know that every day is going to get better, and I'm thankful that we have doctors that were able to treat her. I can't imagine, you know, if we lived in a different time period where um, that technology for that type of surgery wasn't available, what you would do as a parent if your kid had something like that um, and, and you couldn't operate. Um, I just am thankful that they were able to get it taken care of and, um, and that she can heal now. And so... I'm thankful for that and um, thankful for you all and um, thankful for the way that the Lord walks us through these situations and grows us through them. And we realize that when we're vulnerable, um, I know when I'm vulnerable, I feel, I feel weak, you know, I feel, um, but it's in our weakness that the Lord shows us strength, right? And when I realize how weak I am and how incapable I am, it reminds me how much I need God and how much I rely on Him and how much we all really need Him. I can't imagine being an unbeliever going through something like this or, you know, even worse situations because um, this isn't a life-threatening situation. It was just, you know, difficult for me as a mom. Um, but we all go through difficult things, you know, and, and they could be different things. It doesn't have to be this particular thing, but similar things that kind of rock our world a little bit and um, touch our hearts and make us, and we realize just how much we need God and how much he's there for us and that in our weakness, we're made strong through Jesus Christ and that he cares about us. And, and even these little, a little surgery, which I'm making a huge deal out of, but even a little procedure like this, the Lord cares. And um, it's a testimony too when you see the church body come around you and support you and love you and um, give your, your child a hug and a balloon. Um, in the name of Jesus and what what a testimony that is so um, <clears throat> I, I will um, see y'all probably Monday for the next video and take care and wait no probably tomorrow's Friday today I keep thinking today's Friday but 
today's Thursday, so I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and then, um, I don't know why I think it's that, but I'm all turned around. My day's just been, <laughs> okay, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. I will see you tomorrow. So take care, God bless, and see y'all later.